For nearly 40 years, members of law enforcement have been some of the biggest supporters of Special Olympics as members of the Law Enforcement Torch Run, also known as LETR. The Law Enforcement Torch Run is a worldwide movement that supports Special Olympics. Not only could we raise funds for Special Olympics, but we could also include them and bring them into being a part of the community. As guardians of the flame, carrying the torch to all Special Olympics local, national, and world games. Those in law enforcement are supporting those with intellectual disabilities. It's an honor that we are guardians of that flame. That torch run really culminates the importance of the event. It's a shared experience. It's never about one person, it's about all of us together. We are better together than we are individually. As we go through towns and cities, this is like the flame of hope. This is acceptance and inclusion of everyone. It all began here in 1978, when Wichita Police Chief Richard Lemunyan was invited to a Special Olympics Kansas event. I walk up to give this gold medal to this little girl. She's just squeaking with joy, little tears of joy running down her face. And she literally lunged out and gave me the biggest hug. And I thought to myself, I don't know what we can do to help this cause, but we're gonna get involved in it. On this site in 1981, Chief Lemunyan and his officers, inspired by their love of running and their desire to bring the transformative power of Special Olympics to their community, began what would become the first law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics. We want to run the torch from City Hall to South High School. And I get these calls from some of the business people, and they say, Chief, that was a great idea. What could we do? I said, well, send money. We might have raised $300, but it all went to Kansas Special Olympics. Wanting to expand the movement, Chief Lemunyan brought the idea to the National Association of Chiefs of Police, who signed on two years later. Special Olympics founder Eunice Kennedy Shriver gave her blessing as well. What worked here in Wichita in 1981 with the torch run now works worldwide. Wherever you go, the same impact on the law enforcement officer, the reward they get out of it, is the same as we got in those days. By 1991, LETR was pulling in more than $4.5 million nationwide. That same year, Wichita officer Jack Leon, one of the founding members, became a father to a son with Down syndrome. You guys don't know what you're doing to those kids until you see it from a parent's side. You don't feel those emotions until you're on the receiving side and you see your kid out there doing the things you would want every other kid to do as well. And there's more to LETR than torches. In fact, as of 2017, members of law enforcement from around the world were participating in more than 3,300 different supportive and fundraising activities worldwide. There's plane pulls, cops on donut shops, Tipica, and the epic polar plunge. When you're jumping in and freezing your tail off, it kind of forces people to look. It is the perfect picture of inclusiveness, of awareness, and of team playing, which is all about the Special Olympics is about. The movement that began with five officers running through the streets of Wichita, Kansas, has become the largest grassroots fundraiser for Special Olympics, with 109,000 members of law enforcement raising more than $58 million a year. LETR is enhancing inclusion and acceptance for all. What began as a spark of hope for the Special Olympics in Wichita has become a roaring flame of stability for Special Olympic athletes worldwide.